You're right there, guys. What's good? Welcome back to the Ultima RTG. And oh my, we have run into a problem, and it's a big one. Last weekend, we were killing it. Foot Rivals, Foot Champs playing really well. This week, not so much. The new patch has dropped, and the attack hasn't been working. The defense is a meme. I can't defend. And I was on stream, and you guys were saying, maybe it's a creative CDM you need. Because you've got Lerma and Kante, no one's really playing the ball out the back. And you're probably overturning possession there. And I never thought it was a big problem. But maybe the patch has affected it. I need someone that is a playmaker in the midfield. So I'm looking to Paul Pogba. Mourinho's been sacked. Pogba can come and play for us. I've also brought in Lingard. And with Paul Pogba's price, uh, previously he was like 550, 600,000. Now he's really dropped. And possibly i could get some use out of him so he's the new signing lingard's coming griezmann that informed griezmann although i haven't been playing well that pace upgrade is noticeable and he can really play out wide now so he's going to be shifted across to right attacking mid mbappe i was looking to repurchase just for someone to save the weekend league that hasn't even started like my vibes right now aren't good and we are playing the weekend league in today's episode so wish me luck boys please do leave a like let's go and find out what we've been doing on the trade pile so i've literally gone through about two attacks trying to find something that just works on the rtg one of them contained mares gabriel jesus and i would say about this card it's a little expensive 250,000. Ooh, like he is i would say good is he top tier i don't know if i'm really feeling that quality uh his finishing was fine his playmaking was was decent like to drop back and add to the midfield his pace i don't think is like good enough to really like burst past and, and that's probably just because i've been used to mbappe in that striker position and if i'm not using mbappe anyone else is going to feel like a downgrade but i know that this guy maybe in the lower divisions and just like creating different sides he's going to be good fun but not for 250,000. i think a good price would be maybe 180 you know, that's that's a little bit more like realistic. Uh, Mares 195, and the sad thing is, I know this guy is good. I remember his first version, and he was scoring some nice goals for me. Uh, I know what he can do for other people, and if I were to have used him last week when I was playing well, he probably would be my favorite cam to go for. This week, it's just a different story, and I don't know what it is, and it's starting to really annoy me. I can't believe, like literally four to five days ago, I was playing so well, and this week, on both the counts like my mega team uh, this like it's not working so is that me or is it the patch that's done something whatever you know let's test it out in foot champs but courtois we patched yesterday through the rewards eighty four thousand five hundred. love it uh jeko and some of these guys i just wanted to clear the club uh, club to generate just a few more to go and maybe purchase or repurchase mbappe is he the savior I'm not so sure. I'm using a Bamiang right now. I've got his loan card. Like, the team doesn't look that bad, actually. But I've got a Bamiang's loan card. I'm going to use him as a loan striker in a 4-2-3-1. I'm still sticking true to that formation. I feel like maybe because it's foot champs, something will start to work. But I want to go and speak about footmas, man. I'm not happy. <laughs> Where is Alan? So EA did release another three Footmas cards, and Alan was nowhere to be seen. How could they do that? Seriously, is there a possibility that he's going to be announced a little bit later? Because I know that they're going off of some trend. You've got league position, kit number, nationalities. Where is he, man? They released Jordan Lukaku instead. I've unlocked him uh, just because he was very cheap. And you probably would say that the three that they did uh, release yesterday were the best. Bailey, a good price yeah affordable and if you're looking at another left winger this one makes a little bit more sense because in the bundesliga who do you have to really go for coleman i don't think many people really want to use him at this stage you've got yourself royce that isn't really a wide man he's more or less a central player ribbery not good enough nabry you know bailey is is affordable and it's a good card the other one the last one was a top 10 finisher delhi alley outside the box the dream shot and he's not too expensive and i like deli ali i've used him in the past he's not terrible and i think a lot of people will want to go for him but that's it alan's nowhere to be seen so that's why paul pogba is going to take his position for this weekend i need that playmaker i believe 
Should we go and have a look at the team? So as we're only using one winger, I decided to switch up the formation to a 4 triple 2 but in-game, we're going to be rocking the 4 2 3 one So the first signing, Lingard live version and he has had a really good upgrade and i know that if you've been following the series you would remember that at the very start i used the non-informed lingard and i was telling you i don't mind his pace i think he's good on the ball his playmaking is fine it was just his finishing was lacking that consistency with this upgrade long shot shot power finishing attack positioning really good stamina how is he going to perform? Really looking forward to it. And I don't want other people to put me off and say, oh yeah, Lingard's rubbish. He's 167,000 coins. So it's not really breaking the bank. I want to see what he can provide. Then we have obviously Paul Pogba. And a lot of people do tend to use him as a CDM. Now in the past, Pogba hasn't really done it too much, but the physical play is noticeable. Like his height, he just is a bit of a beast. And like it's not ideal in my opinion to use him as a cdm but for someone that is going to be able to take control of the game play making stuff use his five star skills in and around um the midfield i think it's worth it maybe to test paul brow again we'll give him a chance actually just give him another chance and see what he can do then we went and purchased Griezmann, 726,000, which i would say is a fantastic price please do ignore his stats like i said Griezmann, seven games, one goal, one assist. You can obviously see, that's evidence right there. Something is going wrong, you know? It's the way I'm playing or it's the patch that's affected me. Whatever it is, I will accept that. And Griezmann, it's a shame because I know what he can do. And with these kind of stats, the acceleration, the attack positioning, finishing, there's nothing wrong with Griezmann, right? Trust me. But there's something wrong with me and I need to fix it so I can get the most out of him. But he's going to be pushed as a right attacking mid. Then I brought in a Bamiyang and it was the other day that I thought he played quite well and his pace like is fantastic. His finishing is pretty OP and the way he felt on the ball wasn't unplayable. So I want to give him a go in the weekend league. And if we do run into a spot of bother, I have Mertens to be brought on, Martinez, you know, Sterling. Uh, Sterling's going to have to be uh, used as an impact sub. My time finishing has been awful and it really does rely on a good bit of timing if you're going to be using Sterling because his shot power is really low. Uh, Lukaku, this is the unlock that I went for. It didn't cost too much. I think it was like a 78 or 79 rated team. Where would you play him though? He obviously isn't a left mid. He's got four star, four star to be fair. Maybe start Valencia as my right mid, Lukaku as my left mid in a four, sorry, in a three at the back formation, and then eventually switch into a four at the back and then have those two as my fullbacks. Does that make sense? Maybe, because we've got the red uh, Valencia, probably for a fun team uh, after the weekend. But yeah, is he really good enough with 69 marking, uh, 78 stand tackle? We're going to have to test him out, but we're not looking to really test out those types of players today foot champs we've got to focus we've got to win this is a team that i want to use lingard pogba griezmann abamyang four new faces they've got to turn up game one boys and i'm actually crapping myself i'm not ready we've got to win man i can't lose my first game griezmann i see you griezmann there he is griezmann will come alive and it looks like everybody is playing the same setup. Drop back, low depth. It's a virus. It's spreading. That's it. Yes. Good play. Griezmann. Oh, I tried it. I hit a red. Would you say the time finishing has been altered a little bit? Oh, or not. Nah, has it? Do you feel like you're lacking in some areas when you're trying to take some shots so what you're seeing right now is a rage quit looks like we've dominated two shots two goals he's out of here but how is it really playing and i still feel like at any second i'm about to lose the ball i don't really have that control over my attackers it's really weird to explain and it's been happening since the patch game two and we're up against capri sun remember those drinks they were really nice to be fair Fortnite. That's a nice touch. God damn, man. He's through straight away. This is worrying. Turn, turn, turn. Griezmann on the edge. 
Wow, it's completely missed the target. Where are my green shots? Yes, that's a great pass. Go on, Lingard. Go on, Lingard. Oh, my God. Right, I needed that goal. I'm in desperate need of something in this game. I just blasted it. What was I saying in the last one? Let's not get too carried away. It still feels the same, and this one is killing me right now. Go on, Pogba. That's it. A little bit of playmaking. Hazard. Through the gap. Nah. I still have Ramos, though. Remember Ramos? Come on, Ramos. Get this for me, please. Give me this goal, Ramos. Give me this goal. And he's done it. Thank you very much. 2-1. Oh, my. This weekend is probably going to be our worst finish. I'm just putting it out there. Until I find out what's wrong, it's going to be our worst finish. Go on. Mertens is there. Griezmann. He's got a bit of physical, and he's held onto the ball really well. Hazard. That's a goal. That's it. Griezmann. Good ball. Come on, Griezmann. Change the game for me. Go on, Griezmann. And again. No way. 17 shots, 7 on target. That just goes to show what kind of uh, accuracy I've got right now. And I am struggling big time. Felipe Anderson, right-hand side. Griezmann in the middle. Come on, Kante. Mertens, come on, please. Come on, Mertens, run. Come on, Mertens. Let's go. A near post OP. Thank you, Mertens. So Hazard. Perfect. Felipe Anderson. He's got a nasty finish. Ah, so it let me time it that time. And it goes in. If you can just allow me to do that consistently, we'd be fine. Full time it is. And on another day, we probably wouldn't have got that W. That was difficult, but we came out on top. 4-2 victory. Match three, and the last one that we're playing. That defense is different. Um, midfield attack. That's it. Yes. Hazard, come on. That's the way to start. 1-0 already. Pogba. Nice with his feet. He's not terrible on the ball, but... Um, I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see what I make of him eventually. Drag back. Pogba. Griezmann. Nah. Oh, God, no. Salah, no. Oh, I moved my keeper. Let's go. That was a gamble. I nearly opened up the goal, though. Sick. Lingard. Griezmann. A little bit quicker. Griezmann back heel. Open it up. There it is. And that's how we've got to work the play with Griezmann. Have him as the right attacking mid. That is his best position right now for me. That's it. Griezmann. What a player. 700,000 coins for this upgrade is actually totally worth it. When you're looking at the higher rated players, they go up like one or two stats. But the most important stat is stamina, pace, and this guy's got it. And there it is. First three games, we finish off with three wins, but that was intense. Very difficult. What I will say is this play of the month for Bamiang isn't too bad, you know. He leads the line well, good finishing, good pace, and his dribbling isn't terrible. He still doesn't tick all the boxes for me. I don't know how long I'm going to continue playing with the guy, but then you have these two new sign-ins. Lingard is... I think he's going to frustrate me in a few matches. I'm just going to put it out there. He's not terrible, though. And for his price, I think it's a, a good option and a nice alternative for a cam in the Premier League. Paul Pogba. God's sake. He didn't really do anything. A good range of passing, and that's it. He just goes missing. And I don't know if it's best to play him as an actual centre mid or him playing as a CDM for me just doesn't work and it's something that I've got to accept. But that's a player that I'm looking for. A good bit of height comfortable with the ball can make tackles every now and then but it's just he's not there and i don't know who to bring in is there anyone that can get full chemistry uh, for this team i can change up the formation again because honestly lingard i don't think he's going to stay for that long 
Pogba probably will leave if Lingard goes. Griezmann I'm loving like he is actually fantastic and I'm pleased that he was able to turn up for me today so the goals are coming from Griezmann Hazard yeah a few but he's even gone quiet so Griezmann is leading the line right now I, I need a striker I need a middle cam and I need a CDM who's coming in really <laughs> no idea anyway boys thank you very much for watching I'll be playing my games later tonight on stream god help me send your love send your support because I'm going to need it. Leave a like. And